men do not cry. Hi, I'm Inwadi and I'm a visual storyteller. Hi, I am Richmond Kobladido and I am a Ghanaian born creative and photographer. Hey, I'm Elise. Uh, I'm a student at the University of Sydney. I do film studies and science and I was um, the filmmaker behind the project Men Do Not Cry with the talented Kobla and the talented Inwadi and obviously the very talented models that were a part of it as well. So where my feelings are mostly expressed in hush and galaka vulture where I would have to swallow, swallow and swallow all the intense emotions I felt. Just keep it moving because men do not cry. It was okay to express my emotions through anger, strength and volume, but not shed a tear since men do not fear, so man are because men do not cry. After days, weeks, months and years of fears boiling deep down in my gut. What storytelling actually means to me is having the passion to communicate my thoughts with other people and telling the stories that I want to tell the most and having other people to actually understand what I want to express and the love about it is I can do that through my writings and through this piece Men Do Not Cry was one of the ways I could have expressed my emotions, my growth and having other people who could relate to it just by me telling it through my writings was actually one of the greatest things that I so that i didn't even expect it to happen so storytelling through writing was one of the greatest impacts on my life and i hope to continue to do more work around that storytelling through photography is a means of documenting the everyday lives of, of not only my life but also the environment in which i find myself I also find it as a means of documenting um, the struggles and um, and also as a means to communicate my ideas with the rest of the world. The project was definitely a labour of love for all three of us. Um, obviously it being a written photography based and film based project, it brought together a lot of different disciplines and what seemed to feel like something that wouldn't work cohesively together actually came together almost flawlessly and the film and the photos and the words behind this project are definitely very potent and very visceral right now. In the Men Do Not Cry um, series was one of um, deep emotions and um, being able to connect with so many different brothers all in one space, fighting for one common um, vision. Just the experience of being there in, uh, on the day and witnessing the joy and um, the togetherness that we managed to show was such a unique and definitely I wouldn't be forgetting that kind of experience. So, so the main mood for the series was based around emotion. Um, I'm pretty sure um, my mood board is still titled Emotion because um, I just wanted to channel the different emotions which, um, you know, as black men or black boys, like, we're not really known or, or it's not shouted about enough. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to be able to channel the different kind of emotions um, through photography and also to, to communicate that idea of, of brotherhood. Um, through, through the images that are captured. The overall mood of the film was inspired by Kobler's direction, his work with colour and his work with like props and shapes was super inspiring. Like I said, I was just an observer that was just so grateful to just be a part of something that was happening. It's definitely a lot less pressure when you're watching a creator create and you get to capture them doing that it's a very different than creating something for yourself um so it was definitely so amazing to see him work in his space and do his thing and all the other men that were coming together to model was just really inspiring to see whatever they were doing whatever had happened that day i was just there to be a capturer of the kind of I don't know, the outside perspective of that. Um, and what came together in my video was, you know, a very visceral, like, outsider view of what they were doing. 
I would personally like to thank everyone who supported um, the movement and um, supported the, uh, the Men Do Not Cry series. It's, it's been one of the, um, the most successful works in, in which I've been a part of. And um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a real honor to be able to see the kind of reach with, with, with which um, this work has, has gathered. Um, I do appreciate all the support and hope to be able to continue to tell our story. I know, especially in these times, um, yeah, our, our emotions are very difficult. Um, not only with, with the pandemic um, going going around, but also the the issues that have, that have risen up has kind of stirred a lot of deep deep lying emotions in us. And um, just to be able to to continue to to encourage the conversation that it's okay um, for us to show our emotion. It's okay for us to not hold back. It's okay for us to fight. It's okay for us to shout. It's okay for us to you know do whatever we can do to um, express our thoughts and feelings. Um, it's, it's been it's been a real honor to be able to do my small part as an artist. So. Thank you very much, um, and yeah, hope to be able to continue the work. So I have left to say is, go support Inhawadi's work, go support Kobler's work, go support by purchasing Folk Magazine with the cover, support the plug for writing a piece about it as well, and just support black artists, black creatives, and not just now, not just during this movement, but for forever until the end of time. Um, yeah, it's so important right now, you have no idea, but yeah. Please do, please go support, please purchase, please um, share it with your friends, share it with family, okay, because um, this would mean the world to us, us um, creatives, um, and um, supporting us would be the best thing you could actually do, and we do hope you could, but for now, yo, <laughs> see you later, I'm gonna go read this magazine, and um, <laughs> Get your magazine. So, see you later, guys. See you. See you. Take care of yourself, okay? Please um, love each other. Spread the love.